when you collect yourself wakati utajirekebisha na utapata watu wa kukurekebisha hautaingia kwa makosa ama hautaingia kwa dhambi waisaidia kwa makosa ili ukorektiwe lakini ukiigino ukiigino makosa itakuigiza kwa dha that is why we collect we get correction because if you are not going to get a, somebody to correct you day by day you will enter to messes and you met when you mess up yourself i promise you you injure yourself when you injure yourself you enter to the damage na when the damage occur it is very hard to correct the damage can you correct it today haki can you correct it today please can you correct it today can this church to pata watu 10 watu watano watu wawili ambao utakuwa na, na saiki ya Mungu wako hata kama hautaenda he start correcting you because if you don't to, want to be corrected i pray and i tell you you will get a great challenge na challenge ile iko size ya watu waliacha msalaba ni challenge ya magojwa challenge eh ya madeni challenge ya loneliness na hiyo yote ilikuwa challenge ya upweke hauna raha challenge na kupata mpaka watu wote wanajua shokerela imodarafa rudieni msalaba haki rudieni hakuna mtu aweza kutubadilishia maisha yetu isipokuwa Kristo Yesu kuna dhambi zinaitago internal sin mwaka huu labda internal sin ni dhambi zinakorea ndani ya mtu na goko dhinia haijajulikana na hakuna mtu anajua na labda umeoa miaka thate sigiste labda mko na watoto hawajaijua internal sin ni dhambi ambazo na zimezaliwa ama ni makosa ili introduce kwako ju wakati let me tell you when you discover the infection that unaendelea naye ukianza treatment Hello? Unakuaga ukijua you are going treatment. Lakini kabla hujajulikana infection ile uko naye tunakuitaga mgojwa. When you are going undergoing treatment, we haukuagi mgojwa, ji unatibiwa. Hello? Tunakutarajia upo? Lakini wewe kama huwedi hospitali na uko mgojwa ni kuisha unaisha kuna kitu kinakusumbua ama wanaisu wapewe sifa when jesus alikuja kwa sababu ya the sick of the sinners mbona nipata wagojo wa nini eh msidaganyo na kitu kingine kitu ya kwanza yesu kuva msalabani recommendation ya kwanza ni mgojo wote wa dhambi juu waesa kuwa mgojo wa dhambi na hii ndio tunataka tu address. Na ni lazima ujue ugonjwa wako. According to the book of Galatians. Na hii matuda ya roho. Lakini unapata na hii ndio matuda ya mwili. Mwili huyu ni uruwaraga. Hii mwili unagojekaga. Na shida nyinyi nyinyi mnaangalia magonjwa ya dunia, kukosa pesa. Eh? Kuoa, hiyo ni ugonjwa wa dunia. Lakini Jesus number one, alikuja juu ya ugojwa wa dhabi juu kile kilipatanisha uangalie mtu akigojeka sana anaachagwa ana, ana na watu anakuwaga mzigo ama na unapata ukigojeka sana watu watakuacha ama tu ha? unajichukia three ha? tuangalie resources za wagojwa Watu wanakuachaga, watu wanakuchukia, watu wanakuhukumu ama Amen hizo people will judge because of your sickness. People you are burden you. Are you together? So this is things. So that is why Jesus alijua mgojo wa dhambi. Na hata kama uko na malaria na huna saa hizi kuna kaugojo ya, ya, ya makamasi. Ya seven days. Ugojo ukisidi Ya yeah. mudu wote ori haha mtu wote yako hapa kabla uobe dunia ipone 
wewe umetibiwa ume juu watu wengi wameachana na ugonjwa wao wako na ugonjwa wa mama yao eh hey, mama yangu ndio alinifanya eh hey, baba yangu ndio alinifanya eh hey, serikali ndio nifanya eh hey, hawa watu ndio nifanya bosi wangu amenifanya hapana take care of your sickness control 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 you bana isope sifa control yourself Yesu alikuja ku control hebu tuangalie kitu tunaitaga internal sin Matthew 5:28 Ikitabu cha Mathayo mtakatifu mlango wa 5 mstari wa 21 Mume kia watu wa kale walivyoambiwa usiue na mtu akiua itampasa hukumu Bali mimi nawaambieni kila amone yaye ndugu yake asira itampasa hukumu na mtu akimuviolea ndugu yake itampasa baraza na mtu akimwapiza itampasa jeana ya moto sikilizeni sasa nyinyi mnasema mambo mengi tunasikia tu, uangalie mtu hivyo uwe na hasira na yeye hiyo tu tunaitaka internal sin abaye hayonekanagi today is day of not the day of repentance Mume repent na mambo haishi. Please, badilika. Kuna mtu anaendaga na kadawa after 2 hours. Kadogo ana mesa. Ana kuna mtu kamoja unaohitokia madha ukipitisha masaa matatu. Ngojea, utapeleka kwa ICU. Hivyo divyo unajua ugojwa. Wacha na wacha na watu watu wa Mungu. Jua ugojwa wako wewe ndio unagojekaga. Na wewe ndio utaadimitiwa. Where do you na mashida? Admissions of the sins is living in the line of repentance day by day. Are you together? Yeah, in, and let me tell you, when you are living repenting day by day, you will never grow and you will never progress in the spiritual realm. But when you start collecting yourself, when the time you start reforming yourself and tell God I need this to change, My today I'm going to meet somebody this person and this and let me tell you God nikipatana na huyu wajoro nikipatana na muikari nikipatana na kimakia nikipatana na muilore nikipatana na obvious nikipatana Mungu sitarudi nikiwa vile niko I pray I need your protection I must interact with the people but I need you God you change you protect me you you, you, you guard me haleluya eh hiyo ndio Mungu utaenda Baibi nasema mimi ndio mwafuri wako. Na Baibi nasema faeni silaha. We unajua mdomo wako ndio silaha. Abia Bwana, mimi ni silaha nimefaa. Silaha ile nimeemba ya uprotection. Baba ninajua. Hata mahali pale Ephesians 4. Inasema naye kichwa kichwa ni brain. Watu wasi brain face. Watu wasi wasi brain brain washing. Wasibebe akili zako, ubebage akili za wengine. Hiyo ni protection ya wokovu wako. Ju unajua wakati huku yojua Yesu Kristo ulipoteso sana ama so dhambi sikikorea ndani ya mtu anakuwa mfugo you become sick let me see are you going to live repenting instead of umwedebo na Yesu haki a control your generic standard of your sickness reforming is not to stop reforming is not stopping is changing day by day and god mostly he recommend people who are changing day bit by bit day by day hata wewe unasema because wae sadugo shidano ugojeke urale wodi uweke wapi ume stop kile unafanya wakati wae sakua ume stop juhuna pesa pesa sitakaye patikana lakini reformation is combination of transformation your thoughts your mind is change gradually ati wae satusio na mtu useme mimi ni mgojwa mdomo najua nikitusiana na kosaga amani ni tibu Mungu Yesu hakuja juu ya hizo pesa mna shida mngituringia nazo juu ya hii mafashion mko naye alikuja ku control infection of sicknesses of the sin because tumezaliwa katika dhambi our former fathers and parents called adams waliabukisa dunia dhambi And the time you have that control 
your mother labda alikuzaa na uchungu alikuzaa labda ndio umekuwa unafahamu mlipentie because vile tuna grow dio tunajuaga kule the source and when you are seen you cannot control your life will fall apart but dara uase wabie bwana niweza shewe bwana tambia yangu itoke inanisubua sana inaniremea mpasuaji wa shida iudhaifu najua bwana wa biguni unaesa hiyo parity nipasue bwana makosa ishe imenisubua asubuhi atajioni kila wakati na alia dhambi zangu bwana simeni haibisha nipasue bwana ugojwa uishe hii udhaifu wa kuadhabi uniodore abia bwana nipasue bwana udhaifu uish udhaifu wa dhambi udhaifu wa dhambi zangu umenihaibisha yeah how many people you are here you are not proclaiming you know when you live repenting you will never proclaim your destiny you will become a coward listen very people every time every sunday you are like you will never proclaim your destiny you will never proclaim your destiny how to pigania hatima yako kile mungu alikupigia because you are coward alipe mtu wote akiishi na toba toba kila wakati toba kila wakati every sunday daika kidogo kitu ya kwanza inaigiaga kwake hata fika hatima yake juu ni muo na bible inasema since the time of john the baptist until now the kingdom of god is suffering with firing ni lasma toka pa toka pepo to that's all oh baba oh yeah na ni baba oh yes ni 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 ondere bila wakuna kuhera when you live in all the time repentance i promise you you will never proclaim your destiny understand instead of you deal kama umeishi hiyo miaka yote na toba si utaribu Eh wabi I want to change this 40 days remaining you can do better stuck him mwili wako he stuck he stuck bere ya Mungu wabi hii macho ni yangu lakini nimesikia aoneaye jisho dugu yake na awekae hallo na awekae fitina ya roho yake ya mtu mwenzake hawatamuona Mungu muhubiri saba mistari ya nane. Amen. Heri mwisho wa neno kuliko mwanzo wake na mvumilivu rohoni kuliko mwenye roho ya kiburi. Usifanye haraka kukasirika rohoni mwako. Maana asira ukaa kifuani mwa wapumbafu. God bless you. Ate kifua ya mjinga, kifua ya mpumbafu ndio kuna jaga hasira. Hapa kuna mtu wako hapa. Mambo ulifanyo last year. Mambo ulifanyo January iko kifuani. God hakuwezi kakuamini kitu. Wewe you are foolish. Wewe ni mpobafu. Na utapata breakthrough. <laughs> Utakuwa mkristo, hiyo ni ugojo mkubwa. Hasira sinakaa kifuani ya mjinga. Wewe chukua na unajua vile ulinifanya you never increase wa kristo tumiokoka mtu ameweka na bible ndio imesema kuna upenyo hutapata ama kama utapata pass upate pesa migi upate watu wengi lakini the joy of the lord is our strength you will never get the joy na hivyo dio yesu aliwaachia wanafunzi akawaambia hivi kuna ingine inaitago communal sin communal sin we are going to get it in the book of act 5 Matendo ya mitume mlango wa tano mstari wa kwanza. Lakini mtu mmoja jina lake Anania pamoja na Safaira mkewe 
alizuia mali akazuia kwa siri sehemu ya dhamani yake mkewe naye akijua haya akaleta fungu moja akaliweka miguni pa mitume petro akasema anania kwa nini shetani amekujaza moyo wako kumwambia uongo roho mtakatifu god bless you nataka tuangalie that is family sins do you know your problem can be uh, your, your sin yes affect watoto wako petro akasema wa kwa nini mmedaganya mpaka roho kutoka dakika hii kwa sababu mmedaganya watu mmeshidwa kifuani yenu imejaa uongo amen mnaona dhabi za uongo vile mnadaganyana roho wa mungu amesema mmetororate leo na nyumba yenu yote imeisha Bible inasema ka 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 akiingia hivi akaambia naye bibi yake ndio huyu wale hawakujai kanisa mahali ma, pamoja huyu anakuja saa tano, ule yukine saa sita. wakidhania wako na common problem your family you must repent muko na programmers inaitwa programmers polygamies ama nyinyi muko in the line tunaitaga adultery wao ipiga magoti hiyo line ya adultery itakuja iwamari Tupu dhambi mjue hiyo ndio line yetu inatumalizaga mzazi akitenda dhambi kwa hakuna amani wale hapatagi amani breakthrough ni watu hawezi pigwa wale watakuwa wajiga watakuwa anlake kila mahali sasa ndio ninaomba dhambi za kukosa kuelewana sio nyinyi mtakuwa na shida watoto wenu ndio watasafa lakini mukisimama mulimani moja tu baseme jana kifuani ya mjiga inawekwa nini Kifua ya mjiga inawekwa hasira. Useme mimi sitaki Mungu aniandike hasira ndani yangu. Kwa hiyo mengi na machache. Tunapoendelea kumaliza hii mwaka. I believe he gine nae first king 21. Amen. Ni wafalme wa kwanza mlango wa 21 mstari wa 17. Neno la Bwana likamjia Elia mtishi bi kusema ondoka ushuke ukutane na abu mfalme wa Israeli akaye katika Samaria yuko katika shamba la mizabibu la Nabothi ndiko alikoshukia ili alitamalaki ukamwambie ukisema bwana sema hivi je umeua ukatamalaki nawe utamwambia kusema bwana asema hivi mali pale mbwa Walipo iramba damu ya nabothi mbwa watairamba na damu yako God bless you Akalia sana hapo ukisoma Bible inasema alipoua nabothu how many people tunakula baraka za watu walionyang'anywa na ukitaka kujua dhabi sikianza kuingia haunaga amani kifua yako inajaga hasira juu kifua ya mtu wa Mungu inakaa amani msamaha utulifu upore are you born again Where are you born again? Where? <laughs> Ni wapi kumezaliwa kupya? Bible inasema hapo chini baada ya haya yote na bodhu alimwambia hivi. Malaika alitumwa katika roho ya umenabii. Kamwambia kama vile kama vile amemwaga damu ya nabodhu hapo. Na yeye hapo hapo atarabiwa damu yake. Ahabu alikuwa nabii ni vile alipatana na Bada di Faisa. Lahab, Ahabu alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Alipiga magoti akajiobea lakini hakuobea watoto. It is very bad ukiwa kwa shida. Problem can be transferred to your wife, to your husband, to your children. When you get in your sin, just repent for multi purpose. Yes, apareko kwa dugu yako. <laughs> Tubu na uambie Bwana usilipishe dhambi yangu kwa mtoto wangu. Ama Mama, tubu na uambie Mungu usilipishe dhambi yangu kwa mama yangu ama baba juu nyinyi na nyinyi. Watoto, mnasababisha tulipishwe makosa yenu. Ukisikia uko na breakthrough ya kutubu na kukaa juu wakati utashikwa. Huwezi jitolea bodi na pesa zako, unatolea na mtu. Bodi yako ni vizuri tunatubu kwa ajili hayo. Ahabu alitubu juu yake na Mungu akasema wa 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 hapo chini agalia vile 
amenyenyekea Amen. na vile ametubu juu ya kumwambia atakufa lakini makosa yake si nitamulipisha saa hizi nitamulipisha nitalipisha watoto wa that is what we call communion sin even this church pastors makati mnafanya vitu na muonekani we unaona we umefichwa eh, unasema mimi niko na yes wewe safichwa na glory lakini hiyo shida yafikia you affect wa shirika ama watu wa nyumba yako is very good nyinyi service attender hata wewe unanisikiza eh? kama you are bored kwa hiyo mtu achunge yale mambo amejia akutubu kutubu lakini it is a Sunday to change you try to change amen na kama mulijie ni geji na mtu wesi njingoa eh ukienda kumumiti mutagaze bere ya Mungu mara 20 hello bwana Yesu apewe sifa yeah ogea bere za Mungu ogea mwitegai ita Mungu mwambie haya Mungu atafanya kitu eh goja yeye akae hivyo ukimkanya hasiki goja mutaje bere za Mungu na kuna mambo utaona ikabadilika maisha yako usikubali mtu akuabukise dhabi zako wao amen ama dhabi zako kuna ugojwa wewe unaendelea kutibu nimekuambia when you come to Jesus you have been going to treatment there is people who are coming every day there is people who are coming every hours there is people like Hana who will go yearly are you together so be closer to Jesus hallelujah kuna mtu anahubiria kuna mtu ninaambiria It is the Sunday too of the correct correction and change you must be corrected and start changing mabibu amta change mtauliwa na hiyo mambo na utapatana na watu wabaya utapatana huyu alikuwa na ugonjwa wa upe upele kazi yake ni kujiku alipopata neema bado anajikunaga lakini haionekanagi dasi ya gaitwa shikuhereria shinina ga mauru wakati ile hema sabwana tumezikaribia siku mwezi wikedi masaa sinapuguzaga ukali wa ugojwa haleluya amen kuna mtu unaongelesha yeah uliacha Yesu wapi uliacha Yesu wapi Eda bela sa Mungu daika moja ulimwacha wapi haki In the mighty name of Jesus tunaomba Bwana mwenye gufu na mwenye uwezo tunakuita ni kwa sababu we ni mwaminifu Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe Wewe ndio tegemeo na tumaini wewe ndio unaweza mambo yote wakati tunafika mwisho wakati ya Baba Bwana tunakuomba turegeshe turegeshe katika jia zile zinayefaa Enda bele sa Bwana mwambie Bwana wewe umejua kuna mahali mumekosania na Mungu. Kuna mahali imani yako ilipugukiwa. Enda bele sa Bwana jela gai. Oi dokadi ganeli ya Yesu. Petro walilia, Mungu amrudie. Nabia Bwana, unirudie Yesu. Nirudie Yesu. Nirudie wakovu wangu. Nirudie neema yangu. Nirudie nguvu zangu. Nirudie Bwana. Nirudie Yesu wa Nazareti. Nirudie Mungu wa Israeli. Nirudie baba yangu. Nirudie Mungu wa Israeli. Nirudie mwokozi. Nirudie Yesu. Nirudie baba yangu. Nirekebishe Yesu na kuomba Bwana, niondole maondoleo ya dhambi. Niondole makosa yangu. Niondole mbona wa biguni. Wewe habari nitegemeo na tumaini la maisha yangu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Na kuomba kurekebishwa na wewe. Naomba unipe moyo, naomba unipe gufu, naomba unipe ushidi, naomba unipatie ushindi wa kilele ushindi wa moyo ushindi wa roho ushindi wa nyumba yangu usinilipishe mabaya kwa familia yangu atusaidie yesu we become holy and holy all the time hello past jesus oh roho wa mungu tutetee mokozi hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah